Hi hey folks, check out our latest jig for drilling holes for these earth anchors. So we're using the earth anchors for the first time and they require two three-eighths holes, clear holes through. So um, we've got a 10kW ground mount that requires 18 anchors with 36 holes. So how do you get them to all line up? So our buddy Brian built a little drill rig. And uh, we're going to show you, just slide this baby on a piece of pipe, a two inch pipe, and there's a stop. You want to put your stop in. So all we get, you put the stop in here. And what we're trying to adapt this pipe to are these earth anchors. See the two three-eighths clearance holes in that anchor? So this jig was made to do this. So you don't have to try to do this from a ladder and fight yourself. So you get your stop here, got a nice little clamping system here pipes up against your stop, clamp it, a little bit of oil, and you're ready to drill. So Now this becomes your point of reference, your datum for the next maneuver. I like to push this all the way through and take some of the chips off. But then you take this hole, stick it through the hole you just drilled, and now you're ready to, ready to go for the second hole. You want to clamp it down, of course. Now clamp. So we're located where we need to go, so the holes will be in relationship to each other the way they're supposed to be. We're clamped and I'm ready. And then you can check to see that you've done it correctly. Nice and dirty. Take your 516 bolts that we're using. Do they line up? And that's always awesome on video to be a little bit off. But that's probably my problem there. So we're ready to go. Because having to do that on top of a ladder is not fun. Right, boss? Mm -hmm. It's not fun. So. We have to do 36 holes, and that just saves a lot of time. So we're very thankful for Brian building us this little jig. This is a prototype. This will be for sale on practicalpreppers.com once we um, make a few little changes to it, and uh, we'll be back. Our first earth anchor set here. Brian's made a new, we've got a socket extension and an adapter plate for his auger, and we're going to be running in these anchors. Guys down there got everything getting marked. We got nine to do in the front row up against this pond and nine to do in a row back. We've already pre-drilled our holes. So we're ready to go test this thing. And these anchors in with the mini X, just like butter. Better than butter. So getting them started by hand. Is a good way to start just getting them plumb. So we don't have to fight it cuz getting them started with the, this head is there's a lot of play. So this this speeds things up. And it takes about 5 minutes to do this whole front row with a ratchet. No big deal. Yeah. And if that's Yes, yeah, so if that's not it's not making sense to you why we're doing this, we didn't have to put five foot deep holes um, in concrete. We would have still had to do 18 holes, get a concrete truck in here. It is a muddy mess. Probably get that thing stuck and have to tow it out. So being able to do this this way is our first attempt. So we're a little slow, but it's fun. Try new things. Good? Yeah. That's what I'm breathing hard. 
That's because I just a ran one of those augers in by hand. Yeah, why hire a machine operator and pay him to go? Right, when you can do this by hand. I just ran that one in with that ratchet. So, yeah, I'm breathing. On these guys. Just, that ain't going to do nothing for you. Well, just remember, he's just got, he's like, it was his idea and his ratchet. Now, you know what? If you were doing uh, four of these, you could do it. Mm -hmm. Keep making sure it rains for a week first. Well, yeah, if this dirt was dry and you wasn't by this pond, it would be a whole different ball game. Yeah. Because remember that one we put in mine up yeah. there in my driveway? Yeah, it was a lot harder. I could get a machine going, uh, Oh my goodness. Anchors, they were at SPI. This doesn't take long at all. That's sure a lot easier than concrete. A few more steps and drilling and things, but we'll let you, we'll keep you updated as we go. All right, we have four more to do out of the 18. They're running in really nice. Oh, sink those babies out of sight. Iron Ridge ground mount, 10KW. We'll have 36 Trina black on black modules. And this is our first again using the earth anchors. So no concrete was used. We drove the uh, helical screws or earth anchors in. And uh, we had a cool little drill rig to drill 36 holes, and then our top rails were spliced, uh, one splice in there. So it's like 49 feet and some change. So anyway, we're just tightening things up, and as we tighten it up, we see it straightens right out. So uh, anyway, we got a lot to do today, so probably not much filming. And uh, we'll see. We want a customer wanted the array pretty close to the pond and then we got as about as close as we could get so we might have to put the first row panels on with a boat solar. here we are pond hazard solar you gotta watch your step putting up panels you'll fall right back in the pond 